Catalan opening, closed, 4, DXC45.NF3C56.00. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark-squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. The Catalan opening is a slower, more positional opening where white prepares to fianchetto the light-squared bishop on g2, where it will help control the center. The pawn on e4 is under attack as d5 occupies space in the middle. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Dxc4 captures the gambit pawn and opens up the center. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and prepares castling. C5 gains space in the center and challenges the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. It is the last book move. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is ideal. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only good move. It is best. A pawn kicks the opposing queen, forcing her to move or risk being captured. That's good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. Takes back. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen while also checking the king. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a queen while also checking the king. It is good. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. This stops the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This threatens to kick a bishop. There was only one good move there. This allows the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is a mistake. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a better strategy for challenging the rook's claim to the open file. It is incorrect. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. This might indicate that a bishop was attacked. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This exposes a bishop attack. It is quite good. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. 
This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.